Hello and welcome back to Grand Strategy Saturdays, a long overdue Grand Strategy Saturday. I am Mark, the man behind the curtain, and today, if you are just joining us, if this is perhaps the first stream you've caught from us in uh, in a while, well, you're not alone. We are back from a, uh, a long hiatus. My voice has mostly recovered, but I, I do choke on my, my words every now and then, so hopefully that doesn't happen too much. But uh, yeah, feeling better. But that's not what you're here for. What we're really here for is playing some Age of Wonders 4, one of those games that came out while I was on break that I've been dying to try. So, like all great Templin streams, this will be one where I barely understand what I'm doing. I, I've played this game a bit. I'm still learning the mechanics. It kind of reminds me of Warhammer Fantasy, and that's good enough for me. So, uh, yeah. I don't want to beat around the bush too much. Let's just jump in, especially because I'm excited to make my own faction here, which is the best part of uh, any game, really. But let's go to the old full screen before we get into that. All right, so the big question, do I want to go with a realm that's pre-existing or perhaps create my own? Huh, beginner scenario. I don't want to do, like, even though I am a beginner, my pride will not let me do the beginner scenario. Oh, wait, did I make Lustria? Lustra? Is this one? Oh. Okay, I thought maybe I made this, given it's a Warhammer reference, but uh, this does seem to be just one that already existed. Okay, I see what they're doing. Just drop the eye and good to go. Yeah, fuck it, let's make my own. Uh, all right, realm traits, continents, none. It has no traits. Uh, no, oh wait, no, I get it. I see what this is. Ah, oh, okay, that's how it works. Uh, ha, ha, ha. All right, so we'll keep the continents. And it's gonna be what? Overgrown, scorched, frozen, forming. Ooh, forming? Nah. Endless fields, that's kinda boring. Highlands, let's fuck it, let's stick with none. There's no climate traits. Okay. Inhabitants traits. Demonic realm dragon territories. Huh. That might be interesting. Lingering creations, low population, magic origins, megafauna. Peaceful lands. You know what? I kind of want to just do peaceful. It's my first game, man. I don't want to die right away. Would that be fun for anybody? Presence trait. Pretender kings. Uh, Ashen War. The Elder Dragons. Okay. This all seems kind of complicated. I just want to do, like, the boring figure stuff out scenario. Hmm. Pretender king seems interesting. But I kind of just want to do... Uh, oh, wait. This is interesting. Misk trait. Massive underground. I don't even know what the underground is. But I would be into this. Yeah, let's do that. And also... What else? Banner lords. City states. Unusually powerful free cities. Eh, maybe not. Hostile houses. Might makes right, no free cities, ruined realm. Again, I don't want to do anything too crazy here. <clears throat> Disdain for evil. Mega cities. Man, there's a, a lot of interesting gigantism. Could do like a god's like monster island territory. Lightless? Oh my god. The nights are dark and full of terrors. Eh, you know what? I'm happy with the, the traits I've set up thus far. Player distance is going to be far away because I don't want to deal with anybody like that soon. Twelve players because fuck it, let's go all in. Uh, we'll keep the difficulty normal, turn system classic, and we'll call this... Templonia. No, that's lame as shit. Okay, how about... Uh, I don't know. West... March. No, that's from Diablo. Uh, I need a name. Need a name. What's a good name? God, I hate naming stuff. Tyria. That's Guild Wars. Uh, Karokova. Karokova? Karokova? Is that a name? Yeah, fuck it. Okay, that's the name. Master Thief Esquire saying West Mark with a C. I get it. No points for that. Ooh. That kind of looks kind of nice. This is completely pointless, but I'm enamored with it. What does this place look like? Uh, ooh. 
I kind of like that. Nah, but the islands grabbed me. Let's do the islands. Where were they? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Krakova. Is that a name for a player? I, I feel like I still hate that name. What are the advanced settings? Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's do... I don't want to be against rival humans. Wait, no, that's me. Your journey. Okay, now I get to make my own faction. All right, here we go. Human, obviously, because uh, they are the superior species. And I'll keep the body and mind traits as is. Those both seem to be very human to me. All right. What is that origin culture? What is our origin culture? I don't even know what that means, but uh, industrious, I think. I feel like humans are always trying to like tear apart the natural landscape and make it into an industrial hellscape. So uh, barbarian, dark. Ooh, dark looks kind of neat. Well, you can have a ghost person. That's kind of neat. Fuck it, industrious it is. Master builders who value grand cities and strong armor, preferring a defensive attitude over an aggressive one. Is that me though? Do I prefer that? What does feudal get me? A hierarchic society wherein lords, ladies, and knights reign over peasants. Uh, no. I don't think we'll be doing that. Highly developed society whose members strive for harmony. Now, nah, industrious it is. We're going to build some shit. What defines their society? What does define our society? Imperialists. Doesn't this directly go against the favored playstyle of the industrious people? If they're defensive, can they also be imperialists? Maybe they're imperialists, though. <laughs> Shows and uniters. Eh. Devotees of good? I wouldn't say we're good. We're, like, more neutral. Ritual cannibals. Ancient wise ones. I'm going to go pure lore stuff. I'm not going to look at the, um... Oh, adept settlers. Plus one city cap. I kind of like that idea. Experienced seafarers. Great builders. That seems to work well with what I've picked here. Hmm. So these three are the ones that's kind of wanting me to do. Fuck it, let's do Great Builders. But also Adept Settlers. Yeah, I feel like those two work pretty well. Hey, and Cracked Crow, thanks for following. Welcome to the Institute. If this is your first stream, you're in for quite a time, because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. All right, Tome of Rock. What else we got? Tome of Enchantment, Tome of Evolution, Tome of Roots. That's the opposite of what I want. Where's the Tome of Industry? Tome of Faith, Tome of Zeal, Tome of Souls. Ooh, Chiromancy. I'm seeing a lot of good shit here. All right, but let's do uh, Tome of Zeal. This is our communist manifesto. Fanatical workforce. Yeah, that seems to fit. All right, good. Actually, what do we got here? Condemnation. Summon Zealot, Fanatical Workforce, Legion of Zeal, Inspiring Chant. Yeah, this all seems very communist to me. All right, good. Ruler's origin. Good question. Well, I know we're not a dragon lord. I know some people love dragons, but uh, as a human supremacist, can't uh, can't do it. No dragons, no mods, no masters. That's my motto. Wizard king. Eh. Magic is for suckers. You know, I uh, eh. A champion, though. A ruler risen from the ranks of the people. I can respect that. Carry on true saying, Shadow Wizard Money Gang, I don't know about that. Vexan TV saying, Free the working class with zealism. Zeal, ze zealous, whatever. Yeah, that, okay, that works. Yeah, I'm gonna do champion. Just a guy with a sword, came from nothing. Alright. Ooh, he's already looking pretty good. Oh, wait, and I get to make my, like, colors and stuff. I did download a few mods to make this extra cool looking, so we'll see what this gets me like red or like green or like olive colored although mostly just what's this blue giving me I don't see any d oh that's just for the emblem logo I guess okay well what symbol do we oh we could do the brotherhood of nod okay do we play as the brotherhood of nod in this because that would be kind of awesome and it would actually fit perfectly with uh, my infrastructure, industrious, 
builder kind of thing. And the zeal, the Tome of Zeal. Possibly. I'm really enamored with this idea. I wish there was a... I, I gotta do the reversed colors, though. Alright, what other symbols do we got while I'm still messing around here? I'm seeing some Warhammer stuff. This was a good choice of a mod, Mr. Mark. You've done, you've done very well. Hey, you do the orcs. Turtle, nah, what do we got, what do we got? You know what, to hell with it. I think I gotta do the Brotherhood and Nod. Yeah, yeah, okay, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> what are my options? Shield and Hammer, Great Hammer, Crossbow, Fire Staff, Fire Orb, Crossbow? I kinda like having a ranged hero, that seems kinda neat. All right, well let's make our man Kane. Kane was pretty on, on the thinner side, wasn't he? And, whoa. Kane, I don't think, had very long arms. Man, you can really make a, a weird looking guy. <laughs> I want to keep it mostly proportional with a regular human being. Do his arms still feel kind of too long, or does that look normal? I think I think it's probably good. All right, let's get him a better pose. Hmm, is that what Kane would do? I can't tell. Oh no, here's our man Kane. There we go. Yeah. Okay, hairstyle. Yep. Perfect. Kane was bald and did not have a beard as I recall. And I guess this doesn't matter too much. I don't know. We'll just give him brown hair just in case that changes something. Outfit. What are my options? That, that, that. Oh, I kind of like that. Don't love the shoulder thing, so that seems like quite a bit. You know what? These ha Oh, shit, that looks kind of cool. I, I dig that, but, uh... Our man Kane has always been a kind of simple character. But obviously he does need a cape. Oh shit, that looks kind of neat. Ugh. That's a bit much. These pauldrons, man. They're pretty big. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Like, how do you walk around in this? So far, I think this is the least offensive to me. How does that work with another outfit, though? Is there any better options? I just realized with this costume choice, I'm losing that red jewel, which feels very Nod-esque to me. Okay. Oh, I forgot skin color. I guess... Our man Kane was kind of pale, wasn't he? Oh shit, that looks pretty red. Oh my god. Oh wait, god, I was looking at color and I did decoration instead. That's on, that's on me. Nah, Kane did seem kind of pale, so we'll do that. Okay, it's decoration though. Maybe this is post Tiberium Sun Cane, where he has that like weird thing over his head, that cybernetic uh, augmentation. But I always like doing scars. I think scars are cool as shit. I wish I had a photo of Cane for reference here. I, I guess this is probably the most Cane looking guy we have. And what color were Kane's eyes? Does anyone know? What we'll does do black eyes like a doll's eyes? Hey, and thanks to who do we got? Uh, BZ Archer for following. Thank you kindly. Welcome to the Institute. Beard style. Kane. Wait, did Kane have a goatee? 
I think he did, didn't he? Okay, I gotta pick up a, a put up Kane here. Kane, C and C. What does he look like? Oh yeah, he had like a small mustache goatee thing, didn't he? All right. Uh, I don't have that option. I think this is about as close as I can get. And you know what? That that works for me. Okay. Looking good. Armor color. Red, black. I mean, simple black looks pretty sweet. But red, that's very nod esque, so I gotta do red. Okay. Yeah, this is, uh. <laughs> it's all coming together. Your journey begins. And we'll be first guardian. Our man Kane is always kind of, uh. tricky in how he titles things, isn't he? It's not a barracks, it's a hand to nod. Kane! No last name. Race name, the Brotherhood of Nod. All right, I think we're good to go. Oh wait, I can do this. Did Kane ever title himself uh, anything? Like what was his title? He was just he was just Kane, right? He the Messiah. Master Thief is saying wrong gender. Did I? Oh, wait. Yep. Okay, I'm glad I caught that. Thank you. Uh, glory to... Yeah, I think he's just, like, plain simple Kane, isn't he? Although, glory to F. Kane. I guess I gotta put in something. Okay, I'm gonna do the Messiah. How do I spell that? Yeah, all right, the Messiah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this is already looking great. Glory to the Messiah Cain, champion of our kind. He will bring a new age of prosperity to the Brotherhood of Nod. Hell yeah, it's all happening for us. Artsy Jim saying he's not the Messiah, he's a very nutty boy. <laughs> uh, he can be two things. Alright, but uh, let's add some some people here. Let's, uh... I definitely want to fight some dragons. I'm happy to have them part of the part of the realm here. So I don't know if anyone has any preferences for who... Oh, I gotta fight these assholes. Holy shit, these guys look rad. Oh, yeah, Crocodile Corsairs? Fuck, that's... So good. Yeah, yeah, all about that. No humans, because I'm the humans. The first elves. Yeah, all right. Blood Fang orcs, as you do. Mountain dwarves. Wait, are there different types of dwarves? Oh, yeah, there's. T oh, my God, I got a bunch. All right, well, I want to do mostly your standard fantasy stuff, plus some, like, weird shit. Wholesome halflings. Uh, wait, did I just press the wrong button? No. Uh, I guess I'm still good. All right. Your journey starts here. Neurotic goblins. I do like goblins a lot. Yeah, I gotta do that. Oh, I still got plenty of choices. So we're gonna be we're gonna be just fine. All right, chat is saying, please put in Smug Moleman, the literal Gator Navy, Tigrans. Ve uh, Vexen TV is saying, create the GDI. That is a very good point. Do we need another human kingdom to be our arch rivals? Crap, we might. Okay, well, let's let's pick the rest of these races and we'll save the last guy to be our, our hated foe. Uh, I do want some frog people. I like reptiles. And we need Skaven, I guess. So, yep. Yeah. Yes. Reveal yourself. Uh, okay, we'll make them... It's a Skaven. Just, like, we'll make them look like shit. Yeah, alright. Your journey begins. Okay, I'm still Kane, that's good. Your journey starts here. 
Okay, the crusading croakers. <laughs> That's good. Ugh. Who are these people? With their crazy masks and stuff? That's kind of cool. Ashborn hedonists. Moonrock dwarves, shadowborn elves. Now we're getting to the weirder stuff. Deep dwellers, mole people. Human paladins. Ooh. Some lady took over the orcs. That's cool. Cursed toadlings. Oh, we need the undead. Yes. We'll be doing that. That guy looks cool. Your journey starts here. Okay, who else do we need? Some tiger people? I'm generally not a fan of cat people, so probably not. But we'll do these frog people. Your journey and one last pick. Who do we like? <clears throat> More toads. These weirdos. Kazzy guy saying he's not gonna add mole man, and that makes me sad. Why do people like moles so much? I mean, I got nothing against moles, but uh, I don't even know where they are. Deep dwellers. All right, fuck it. The moles are in. Don't ever say I don't do nothing for you, because this is proof that I do. Your journey begins. Kaiser Hawk asking, is that halfling called Hamburger? I think that isn't Your the halfling called Ham Binger, which is also pretty great. Uh, but yeah, no halflings in this game. Instead. We gotta make the GDI, don't we? Starts here. Okay, so they're human. What is their origin culture? GDI is probably high culture, I'd imagine. They think they're much better than everybody else. Cassie guy saying Ham Binger is an old staple of the Age of Wonder series. That's good to know. I, I uh, okay. Okay, GDI. Yeah. They are chosen uniters and devotees of good. Or are they imperialists? Nah, they're devotees of good. Bastards. Choose your first tome of magic. And who are they into? Or what are they into? They're into... Evolution, beasts, faith. I have I have no idea what, what what magic system would the Global Defense Initiative use? Does anyone know? I'd love to figure that out. I guess just Tome of Enchantment, probably. That's like their version of technology, I assume, so I'll do that. What is your ruler's origin? And they're led by a wizard king, just to, you know, contrast. Man, maybe Kane should have been a wizard king. Does that make sense? Should Kane have been a wizard king? Should I, uh... No, Cain's a man of the people. His mystical powers are more in the background. All right, where is my eagle? And I know somebody in the stream is going to find this before I do, so please yell out if you see it. Okay, I, I kind of see a bird there. That's vaguely GDI related. Where's the scorpion? Shouldn't it be beside the... Nope, okay. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I am not seeing an eagle. Or just any kind of predatory bird. I mean that's like a lion thing. Is this is this too lame? <laughs> I don't know, that's kinda close, right? A penguin? Yeah, not seeing. And I just know that I'm going to pass over it and not even notice it. So far, I think this is the best option. If I had known this was the plan, maybe I would have tried to make a mod or something, but... Uh, like all great ideas, this just came to me in the moment. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I think this might be the... Uh, Best I can do, unless there's like one I missed right at the top. The squid thing. That actually kinda looks, yeah, I mean, that also looks like the GDI logo, even though it's a 
What about that thing? Well, I mean, it is fa Oh, wait, wait. I kind of like, I dig that. It's not per like, I mean, it doesn't resemble the, the GDI logo, but the spirit is there, I think. Am I wrong? Uh, CN True, whose name I can't pronounce, saying Hunger Games symbol. Is that the Hunger Games symbol? Because I can't use that, can I? All right, fuck it. Physical form. All right, he's just a regular human, right? That's what I want. Yeah, I'll have it led by some lady. I forget uh, the name of the GDI characters. Wasn't James Earl Jones uh, in that um, series? I guess we gotta make them look good, right? Oh shit! That's really cool. Okay, but I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna go so crazy on this one. We don't need to spend so much time on our enemies, do we? Yeah, I think something like that. Maybe a cool ass helmet. Whoa! That's neat. What the? Oh, that's so cool. Although I, I wouldn't want to live like that. That seems like a nightmare. Oh, shit. I kind of dig that a lot. Oh, but that also looks very GDI-esque to me, so... Maybe this? Yeah, okay. Needs a cool cape. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. Your journey begins. Uh, okay. And I, I can't call them the GDI. They need to be the precursor to the GDI, because GDI is too modern for a fantasy game. Brotherhood of Nod, though, that works great. Is there anything else that starts with GDI that, uh... Okay, the, uh... The, the, the... Gloom... Spite... Def no, that's... Eh, okay, the, uh... Cairo Copper saying the Grand Draconic Inquisition. Okay, I think there's something there. I think there's something there. Grand. I don't like Draconic though, because there's they're not really dragon esque. The Grand. Uh, I, need, I, I I'll just make up a name that starts with D, like a fantasy esque name. The Grand. Delin. Del Deling Dellington. The Grand Dellington. Dillington sounds too weird. I don't like that. The Grand... Rather than... Uh, I see chat saying Druidic, Dominion, Duchy... Oh, the Grand Duchy of... I Okay, yep, you got it. Grand Duchy of Iolatus. Thank you, Siran True. That is sweet as shit. The GDI. There it is. Okay, now I gotta go back to Kane. Because... I don't feel like this faction really captures the... Wait, how do I edit Kane? Did I... just... Your journey starts oh, here. right, I gotta do custom, right? Okay, I'll figure this out. Kane, there we go. What is your people's form? What is their origin culture? Okay. Is the Brotherhood of Nod industrious or dark or mystic? You know what? I think I'll keep industrious just because it's my preferred playstyle, even though it doesn't quite fit Nod. Scions of Evil. 
was not evil, or did they just want to learn stuff, you know? I don't know. Hmm. I kind of just want to keep the ones I, I picked, just because uh, that's how my playstyle usually works. Let's do Devious Watchers. I feel like Nod had a bunch of spies and stuff. Yeah. Devious Watchers and... <clears throat> Architect Hoarders, Great Builders. Ah, Great Builders. I, I feel like that's... Like, industry and, and, and whatnot was kind of tied to Nod, I guess. Maybe, sort of, not really. Choose your first tome of magic. Okay, Tome of Zeal I still think fits. Like, Zealots kind of... Like, this all feels not a shit to me. What is your ruler's origin? Okay, and should our man be a wizard king? That's... That's the question. Reveal. Yeah, I think he's just a champion. I think, like, his, his, like, Kane's, like, he wasn't throwing fireballs in that game. You know, he was just kind of hanging out. So, all right. Also, I saw in chat, uh, K uh Kaze guy saying, by the way, you can make your soldiers armor red, too. You only made your leaders armor red. Did, wait, what's that under? Is that, uh... What is that origin culture? How do I do that? What is your ruler's origin? I figured it out. There's a whole other tab. Holy God. This game is pretty sweet already. I do love how we can just universally increase their arm and leg. How do I make my guys multicultural? That's what I want to know. Man, this game <laughs> rules. Okay, what's what the hell is that thing? Like a pony? I don't like that. I feel like Nod just has black horses. Like that seems practical, but cool looking. All right. I think we're looking good. Aurora Aura. Yeah, she needs a new name. Journey starts here. What is your people's form? Reveal no, that's not appearance. It would be finalized. Yeah, okay. Uh begins. Aurora Hyrule. Oh wait, wait. What was the name of the space station? Wasn't it just called Philadelphia? Shit, okay, we can't call it Philadelphia. Um hmm. Okay, GDI characters. Just uh, forgive me while I figure this out. Evelyn Rios. Shit, was she from... Ah, oh, she was from the bad one. Okay, let's do Tiberium Sun characters, because that was the best game, right? Anton Slavic, no, that's definitely someone from Nod, you can kind of tell. Oh, okay. I think I got it. Hey, and thanks to Slendy McSpendy the third for resubscribing 12 months. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. Alright, I'm doing Gabriella Bordeaux. Whoops. Gabber Bordeaux. Uh, apparently she took over Tiberium research after Dr. Mobius did, died or whatever. And we'll just do uh, Empress. Sure, why not? Okay, I think we're good. Game flow. Now this all seems fine. Yeah, all right. I Any terrible settings I've picked here that I should be worried about? I don't think so. It all seems pretty good so far. Yeah, all right. 
I think I'm good. Let's do it to it, baby. So, from what I understand, can't your uh, rulers in this game kind of ascend and then appear in other games? Because that would be very on point for Kane. Uh, Kazy guy asking, Kazy guy, Kazy guy asking, which world did we pick, by the way? I think I made one from scratch that was kind of boring, nothing too crazy about it. I think uh, there's a bunch of animals and stuff in it because it's a. Uh, it says it's peaceful, but I think that just means there's more animals and stuff. So some of them can be nasty, I would assume. It's taking its sweet time. Oh yeah, I forgot I did a 12-player game. This might be. Uh, this might be huge. Are we really half an hour into the stream and only just getting going? Oh boy. If this thing would load a bit faster though, I'd really appreciate it. And Kazzy guy saying, yes, if you win, you can join the Pantheon. Then they can show up as leaders or as heroes for your faction in other games, depending on what you pick in the Pantheon options. Oh shit, okay, that's very cool. I have been vaguely aware of Age of Wonders for a while, and uh, this is the first one that I'm really trying to get into, so... I got a lot to learn, but uh, God willing, I'll figure it out. Or... Nod will burn uh, in a sea of calamity. Either option works. Now they're dusting the equipment. Come on, I can work with dusty equipment. We don't need to hold it up over this. Measuring giants. Do we really need to know how tall they are? Announcing arrival. Okay, that's very important. We can't uh, skip on that. Fending off astral sea monsters. That also seems like a good, good thing. Unleashing magic. Okay. Are there any splines I need to articulating? Because uh, I would like to get that done if possible. Seth90 saying, Nod thing can go wrong. Love it. Wasn't there a guy in Nod named Seth? In fact, wasn't he in like the first mission and he's like, my name is Seth. Oh, just, just Seth. Doesn't he have some line like that? You know, more and more, this feels like it's not working, right? Should I just try this again? I do have some mods enabled, but I tested it before the stream started and uh, had no problems, so... Kaiserhawk saying from God to Cain to Seth. There it is. Wondering for ages. Tell me about it. Locating dire penguins. Probably in the Arctic, I'd imagine. Imagining dragons. I just got it. Okay, it seems stuck again at the exact same place it was last time. This does not bode well. God damn it, if the mods broke this, I'm gonna be very upset. Although it was working, it was working right before the stream. What the hell did I do? Okay, is the guy saying maybe we need to trim some factions? Well, <clears throat> That would suck. Is there a way for me to, like, save my settings just so, uh, I don't have to do this all over again? Shit, not that I can see. Crap. What the hell do I do now? Well, let's give it one more shot. If this doesn't work, I'll just restart the game and maybe that'll do something. Otherwise, this is going to be a real lame stream. And actually, let's look it up. Age of Wonders 4 stuck loading. Hmm. 
Nope, all of these are from like many years ago. Okay. Slendy McSpendy the third saying, oh good, another half hour of character creation. Well, hopefully I can just save my races, right? I can save Nod and the GDI. They, they, they show up under the custom races list, don't they? I don't have to do that all over again. All right, once again, we're stuck. All right, fuck it. I am restarting the game. Choose your destination. Ain't that just the way? Okay. Let's give this another shot. Any day now, here we go, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, a new game. <clears throat> oh shit, I forgot I made a place called Antares. That's kind of nice. Let's go back to Krakova. Uh, maybe we'll just do 10. Ah, but I want a 12. Let's, uh, let's, let, let's try this again. Starts here. Whoops. What is your people's form? Oh, I got two canes. Which was the real one? This is... Great Builders. No, it was this one. Yep. Your journey starts here. Hold up. Hold up. There we go, that's what I want to do. Okay. Your journey starts here. So I'll do this as quickly as I possibly can. Starts here. Your journey starts here. My journey starts here. Your journey. Your journey starts here. Your journey. Your journey starts here. Reveal yourself. Okay, you gotta mess around with the colors. There we go. Your journey begins. Sure. Wait, I already added two of them. That's why I was doing that. Okay. This is what happens when you rush. Your journey starts. Here. Fiendish rodents. Yeah, we wanted the Skaven. Reveal yourself. I don't know. It's a gross color. Yeah, there we go. That's good enough. Your journey begins. Your journey starts here. Okay, and then we wanted the goddamn mole people. Reveal yourself. That's a good mole color. Yeah, something like earth tones. I feel like the moles like earth tones. Your journey starts here. And this is about where I forgot who we had. Uh Who did I forget? Casey guy saying I had the blue dragon too? No, I didn't, did I? These guys are kind of neat. Kaiser defender saying saying save some journeys for the rest of us. I'd love to, but I got 40 journeys, and they're all starting here. All right, let's bring these guys in with their creepy masks. Reveal yourself. Your journey begins. And that leaves Gabriella Bordeaux. All right, now if this doesn't work. I'm gonna have to disable those mods, I guess. Come on, fingers crossed, let's do this. Is it moving faster than last time? I can't tell. Come on, come on, this is like an Independence Day when they're shooting the missiles at the ship and they're trying to see if it's gonna make it through the shields. Come on, come on! God, uh, 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 out! Oh. 
Virus ineffective. Disengage. Disengage. Get your people out of there. Hold on, command. I want another shot at him. Eagle one. Fox two. Yeah! <laughs> there we go. Holy shit. Just like Independence Day. All right, let's go to the old full screen. A new ruler emerges. Explore your surroundings and expand your domain. Prepare to face your rivals and become the master of this realm. Your choice will shape their choices. Will shape the new Age of Wonders. Okay, got it. Devious waters. What does that get me again? Cities and provinces have two plus vision range. Scout units have universal camouflage. Outpost start with a watchtower upgrade built. Okay. Starting magic. A heal spell. A zealot summoning spell and wayfinder enchantment okay keystone is that a good name for our city uh, we'll call it the hand of nod yeah there we go now we're living I do like that we look like we're starting next to an ocean or a sea of some kind always a fan of that Okay. Now, there's one thing that's always confused me about this game. Is it better to queue up multiple buildings at once because they all work at the same time on getting finished, or is that completely wrong? In any case, I feel like first we need a sh no, mana income, knowledge, draft, vendor. Well, let's do workers' farmstead first. That's saying four turns. And then... A stonemason and a vendor. Four, seven, four. So presumably this is going to take four turns, and this is going to take seven turns, and that's going to take four turns. I think that's how it works. And I'll get another ranged unit just so I can figure out what these things do. Okay. And Casey guy's saying it is one at a time. All right. That's what I thought, but I was seeing some weird stuff earlier that confused me. Who can say? Go ask here overview, magic material, city overview, armies. Okay, I'm figuring this stuff out. No research. We gotta research something, right? Legion of Zeal. Yeah. Or no condemnation. Yeah, let's do Legion of Zeal. That seems cool. Alright. We got our scout. Where do you want to send them? Well, fuck, it's a big world. No wrong answers. I want to check out the shoreline, see what's going on around this ocean, or if it's just a lake or whatever we got here. Okay, it keeps going. And we got a knowledge stash just up ahead. Roger that. Meanwhile, the army of Cain, you're going to go fight this marauder guard full of serpents and wargs. Hell yeah. Fuck them serpents and wargs. And because I don't really know what I'm doing, I'm going to do manual combat. I feel like it's best to learn when my victory is nearly assured. Wolves and serpents working together. Mass hysteria. Okay. Oh, shit. Do I get any kind of height advantage? I have no idea. But I'd like to find out. All right, Kane, get up there. You guys take the high ground. Anvil guard. We'll just have you form with the battle line. Steel Shapers. What do these guys do? Steel Blast? Okay. Kaz, guy asking, what weapons did you choose for Kane, by the way? I think I gave him a crossbow, but we were messing around with the character creator a few times. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, he still has his crossbow. Okay. Well, let's shoot that fucking serpent thing. That looks scary as shit. Okay, it's right click. Got that figured out. Good work, Kane. Defense mode. Is that all I can do? Yeah, all right. Oh, and some bonuses there. Okay. Everyone else just do defense mode, I guess. Cool. All right, that was a great first turn. We shot some crossbows, had some laughs. Oh, God! Kane, get out of there! 
God, what a what a what a thing that is. I don't ugh. Well let's deal with these wolves, shall we? Oh, but they can retaliate. And yet that's all I can really do. Okay, that wasn't spectacular. But I guess as a crossbowman, he shouldn't have been up in the front line, shouldn't he? Yeah, there we go. We're gonna hammer the fuck out of those wolves. God damn. Can they attack again? No, that's the pioneer I'm looking at. Okay, I got this shit. Oh, and these guys also should not be in the front line. Okay, I'm learning stuff. Steel Blast. Okay, the system works. All right, I think this is looking great. Bolstering Chant. Yeah, all right, Kane. Nah, actually, we don't need it yet. I feel like everyone's still doing just fine. All right, notes for next time. Don't put those guys in front. Oh, don't die on me. Oh, shit, they're gonna die. Wait, why didn't that work? There we go. Uh, okay, get out of there. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna cost me. All right, die, you wolf bastards. Okay, so I gotta figure out what these things actually do. Shoot crossbow versus overdraw crossbow. Deals damage, cancels defense mode, and removes retali- Oh, removes its retaliation attack. Okay. Now, is retaliation attack the same as that attack of opportunity they got when I moved my units out? It doesn't seem like it would be. Uh -huh. Damn, that learned him. All right, Kane, finish him off. Hell yeah, Kane Serpent Slayer. That's what we call him. Holy shit, there's like a slow mode mode. That's cool. Victory. Hell yeah, no one's ever played that well before. World first, beat the Marauders out my gates. Oh yeah, and there's a bunch of provinces that I gotta claim to gain new territory. That's how that works, right? Okay. Interesting. All right, is that it for me then? Yeah, I guess it is. That was a good first turn, I think. And Kezia, thanks. The retaliation attack is the same as attack of opportunity. Got it. So shoot crossbow, then retreat. Look at this, right? We're picking things up. And it's turn two already. All right, they're working on their stuff over there. Research is doing. Let's check out this forbidden knowledge or whatever the hell we got. Oh, it was just some points for us. Small monster den. We're just gonna keep exploring the coastline. I, I like having navies in games like this, so I, I wanna get that going as quickly as possible. Okay, this guy has taken some hits. And now we gotta fight dire penguins? Oh my god. I gotta figure out the summon zealot stuff. That seems fun too. Alright, how do I get this guy to just heal up? Is that a thing he can do? Guard, no. Hmm. Well, guard for now. Heal up for a turn or two. Alright, they're mostly healed. I think that's good enough. 
I'm also going to summon a Zealot. Hell yeah. Now we're laughing. All right, now we can kill those penguins. We'll send in the Zealots first. <laughs> to soak up all the penguin goo, I guess. All right, clearly these penguins have been affected by the strange energies coming out of this mystic circle. I think that's obvious. All right, I have two main groups. Pioneers on the flank. Kaiser Defender saying Tiberium Penguins. I think this is pretty much Tiberium. Yes, you're right about that. All right, nobody's in range. Well, hey, what can you do? You can't win them all. We could get Kane further up, but was that a good idea last time? He's mostly ranged, so I don't know if throwing him into the... Th ah, fuck it. It's Kane we're talking about. He'll, he'll make it out of here. Kane lives in death. Actually, what does the attacks do? So this does single melee strike versus. Oh yeah, he should have shot his crossbow. That would have been better. All right, well we're learning. Jesus, these penguins are not fucking around. Cannot reach target, eh? Well, let's keep going. Is this gonna hit? 50% chance. I guess it did. Yeah, eat shit, you devilish penguins. And what the hell are these things? Like weird slug men? All right, zealots, do your thing for God's sakes. I'm not paying you to stand around, I'm paying you to club weirds worm things. Young caustic worms, ugh. Eh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I feel like Kane can deal with the penguins. No, he can't. All right, lessons for next time. Don't rush Kane in. He's better shooting crossbows from afar. Hell yeah, one less penguin to worry about. All right, who gets the final? Uh, yeah, we'll give it to Kane. He's earned it. Nice shot. Another immense victory. It doesn't get much better than that. Oh god. What do we have here? Entwined thralls and crows led by a piglet. All right, cool. Is this stuff like magical? Yeah, it's a gold vein. Okay. And we'll get more population soon enough. No provinces annexed. I forget how to annex provinces, but I guess I need more population. All right, that explains itself. Meanwhile, the scout. Keep on trucking. As for you, Kane, you've been 
you, you've been really tearing it up out there. Let's just get you... I don't know how much agency these things have. Are they going to rush me? I don't know for sure. So let's just back up a bit. Give, give them some space. And we'll heal up. Ooh, but Kane leveled up. Okay. Fighting one. Melee attacks gain plus 10 damage. Okay. I don't hate that. Or battle magic. Lightning Evoker. Inspire. Oh, he's an inspiring leader for sure. But for now... I kind of want to give him lightning. That seems like kind of a Nod-esque thing, maybe. Or maybe something boring, like better fighting. Channel power. Restore. Fuck it, I gotta do Inspiring Leader, just because that's what Kane's all about. Have to do it. Oh, I can adjust his appearance? I can give him hair! No, that would that would no that's not Kane. He can't have a good haircut. Alright, everything else is looking good. I'm thrilled with our progress. Day four. Oh, shit, I can only have six units per army. Okay, good to know. Well, you'll just uh, camp out there. Seth90 saying he can't have a good haircut, but he already has the best haircut. I apologize, Seth. You're absolutely right. From God to Cain to Seth. Okay. What the hell is that thing? A watchtower. Cool. Wait, I should check that out. That seems important. Alright, hand a nod. Let's get you producing... I guess just like a, a pioneer will make a good scout. Presumably, that's exactly what they're for. Alright. All right, here we go. What do I want to annex? Well, in games like this, it's usually good to have a steady supply of food, right? It's so like a farm. Oh, and this thing has some sheep there. Pastures, so... Yeah. That seems like a good option. It's gonna be plus 15 versus plus five and 10, whatever. Plus five, plus five. Yeah, let's do this. I just want a bunch of food. Is that so wrong? Plus 57. Attract a new population with Imperium. Okay. Is that a good idea? Yeah. Oh, what the hell is this? A research post. I like that idea. Or a conduit. I never prioritize research, so maybe I should bully that trend and, uh... Is that the right phrase? Let's see what else we got. So we got a gold vein right here. That also seems like a good thing to have. Oh, there's another one right there. Gold vein versus a quarry. I think a quarry might make more sense. 15 mine or... Yeah, I think Cora is going to get us a bit more bang for the buck. I think, anyways. So let's do that. <clears throat> cool. All right, Scout, check out that tower. Oh, we got some more water over there. Okay, this is an interesting looking continent we got shaping up here. And this more and more seems like a lake to me. Well, let's find out, except I can't 
I guess I can travel through mountains, maybe? Legion of Zeal, hell yeah. And we're gonna research what? Enchanted Crow Companion, Steel Fury Chance, Fanatical Workforce. I want my workers working real hard. Okay. Ooh, I like this music too. This is very peaceful. All right, Canyon nearly healed up. Uh, not quite. <clears throat> I guess these guys aren't moving, though. I like Zealots. So I'm going to be summoning a lot of them. That's what Nod is all about, so it makes sense. Day six dawns. All right. I guess, except those penguins are gonna block my path, aren't they? Bloody hell. All right, travel up this river valley through the mountains. Kaiser Defender saying, kill that small monster den, it spawns hostile armies. This one here, you say. Nature is seldom good or evil. It is hungry, territorial, and protective of its young. Okay, that's good to know. The infestation will become active in nine plus turns. Okay, so this we got to deal with that at some point. Well, is that the greater priority? I guess it is. All right, Kane, you're going to have to deal with it. As for these folks, I don't know. Let's get out the rest of the water area. See what we got going on. Oh, we got new development skills. Okay, military engineering. Outpost cost minus 25% gold. Oh, that seems like a very good idea. Versus order affinity. Yeah, let's do that. Excellent. Excellent. I should also clear out that ship at some point. Maybe Kane can do that on the way to the monster den. Day seven. I am not picking up stuff. I should be. Okay, go there next. All right, Kane. You must research seafaring. That makes sense. What do we got here? More weirdos? A nymph? Spider? Vampire? Vampiric? Vampire spiders? Good God. I need more scouts, that's what I'm picking up here. Okay, this ocean seems a bit bigger than I would have thought. But we're making it through, okay, this is fine, this is fine. <clears throat> yep. Just another day in God's kingdom. Or Cain's kingdom. Someone's kingdom. Look at that, some money for our troubles. Oh shit, an underground passage. I kinda wanna check that out. Didn't we set the underground to be huge in this uh, world? All right, nearly at the monster den. I, I, I can win this, right? There's not like, a, it's not like full of shit, it is. Floral stingers and a warg. I can deal with that. As for you, keep going. Scout at that coast. All right, what province are we taking next? I kind of like this magic area. Okay, conduits or research post. 
does feel like conduit's gonna get me more bang for the buck. But, a fishery? No. And not even a seafarer yet. Another mine? Yeah, let's get some gold. Okay, this is all looking good. I'm gonna need something for that. Uh... No, that's not gonna help me, is it? Legion of Zeal. All right, so we're gonna head to the under underground, see what's going on there. Holy shit, it's the whole thing. All right, we are gonna worry about this later. How do I, how do I get back to the overworld? I figured it out, we're good. All right, as for you, Scout, let's follow this river over here. Kane's gonna fight that monster den. This guy is gonna keep heading north. Uh -huh. Alright, Kane, let's do it to it. Oh shit, this looks rad. Some sort of creepy animal den. Got it, alright. Alright, Kane, take a position over here. Anvil guard, protect Kane. Pioneers, get on the flanks. Archers, stay on the hill. I need more melee. That's what I'm figuring out here. Steel shapers. Ooh. Obscuring. Is that good? Probably. All right, Anvil Guard, move in. Kane, hit him with the crossbow, baby. Just like so. Hammer them, boys. There we are. I forgot to move my zealots last time, didn't I? All right, zealots, you're moving in. To take out that weird plant monster. Not sure if anything else really helps me. Well, those guys are bolstered now. Not sure how long that lasts. Three turns? Okay. Pioneers, let's get you closer up. Hey, Euro Drone, thanks for following. Welcome to the Institute. As I try to figure out Age of Wonders. I don't know, I think I'm doing not terrible so far. The Brotherhood of Nod is uh, keeping it going. Oh shit, it's a raid! G-Man, the Great Barrier, thank you very much for the raid. If you're just joining us, currently in the midst of Age of Wonders 4, this is my very first campaign in this game, and I'm trying to figure stuff out. I think I'm mostly getting it. Crap. Ah, we're fine. Oh, they're going after the Pioneers. Or whatever they're called. Are they Pioneers? Yeah, they are, okay. All right, let's test some stuff out if I can. So, if I do this correctly, if I move these guys here and do overdraw crossbow, except I can't because it takes too many things. All right, that's fine. I was gonna try to get those pioneers out of there, but uh, they don't have the action points. Not that it looks like it's gonna matter too much. All right, Zealots, go in there and hit that thing of lettuce. There you go.
Master Thief Esquire saying, literal devil's lettuce. You're damn right. Although I wouldn't want to indulge in this herb. Alright, just keep blasting it. I feel like fires... Oh, they missed? Come on. I guess it comes down to the club. Always down to the club. Alright, as per tradition, Kane will get the final kill. There it is, another victory for the Brotherhood of Nod. Kane lives in death. Peace through power. And I got some food. Wait, do we really want to eat the food we got out of that? Like, I... Ugh, nah. Uh, that's not... Nah, I don't like the sound of that. I'm not eating it. You have selected a magic material. I have? These have various unique effects if acquired via annexation or through trade. Oh! Gathering all materials from a category will yield a powerful empire-wide bonus. That's good. An enchanting bloom that upon consumption encourages cooperation in those who indulge in its succulent harvest. Often used as a treat during negotiations to bring about a fruitful outcome for all. Okay, so this is the shit I want to be indulging in. Not that devil's lettuce. Got it. Oh, crap. I can build an outpost, can't I? So there's already a watchtower there. And because my bonus... I thought, that seems like the best place for a watchtower. Or for a outpost, though. Alright, we're gonna go there. It already has a watchtower that I think my faction bonuses give me automatically. But hey, you can't win them all. Well, at least I think that makes sense, what I just said. Alright, welcome back to the overworld, boyos. Fanatical Workforce. There we go. Ruin of Industry. That already seems good. Inspiring Chant. Condem oh, let's do Condemnation. I need to condemn those spirit things. In the meantime, what am I annexing? Another mine, perhaps? Oh, Iron Deposit. So, another quarry would be good. Although, how do I know what I need a lot of? Like, that's what, what am I missing right now? I'm short on mana. Doing pretty well on the knowledge front. Alright, mana note it is. Do you want to build in this claimed province? This province has already been claimed. Building here causes other rulers to gain a grievance against you. Well, shit, who's claimed it? I have, I don't see any... I don't see anyone's name on it. Uh, all right, we'll scout out the area more and then we'll claim it. I don't want to upset anybody if it turns out they're gonna kick my ass, you know? Instead, how about a forester? Because we don't have any of those at the moment. Except there's not a lot of forests around here, are there? Oh, there's one. I think we're good. That only gets me three production, though. That's kind of lame, isn't it? Versus, like, 15 over here. What are the benefits of forests? Hmm. <laughs> well, this place has an iron deposit, so I guess I'll just do another quarry. Yeah. New Empire Development Skill. What do we got? Oh, seafaring. That's what I want. I need to take the oceans for myself, baby. But first, an outpost over there. And, yeah. Oh, it gives me advice? Oh, that's not too helpful. Why is that green thing still there? Do I got another point I can spend? Is that how that works? I guess not. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Casual Defender saying, oh, it gives me advice? That's not too helpful. Well, advice is for suckers. The real way to play games is to blunder through things. All right, I'll read this goddamn advice if it's so important. You can open the encyclopedia to find information about... Okay. Find out more about 
I already knew both those things, so I reject the assertion that by ignoring the advice, I was in some way hindering my progress in this game. Okay, but I do want to uh, get that fanatical workforce on the way. Now, is this costing me anything? Oh, it is. It's costing me... Oh, okay, so that's the benefit of mana. Got it. Look at this. I'm a master of this game. I am figuring stuff out. I'll tell you one thing, though. I don't know if I can actually bring this up as an example. Oh, yeah, so the new engine that they got working uh, over at Paradox is astonishingly amazing, especially in the way that these things work, where you can have these, like... Isn't that so fucking good? Whoever thought of this is a genius, because that is so incredibly helpful. The, I mean, what do you call that? The layered tooltips, the, the hyperlink things it was just telling me about? I don't know. But I first saw that in, what was that, a Crusader Kings 3 thing? And it's been excellent ever since. Alright, but enough about that. Let's go over the mountains, baby. And Kane, you're going to go over here. Okay, how do I build an outpost? There's a way to do this. Build outpost. Yeah. Is this a good place for an outpost? I feel like this place might be actually better. An ancient cavern that heralds from the time of this world's creation during an era when dragons and giants molded the very lands into physical form. Within these natural sanctuaries, the first creatures found shelter as the world outside violently settled into place. To this day, the cave itself remains a sanctuary for those who are able to find their way to it. Ancient Wonder. Okay. This seems like a good thing to have. Now, how important is outpost location? Like, am I going to screw myself if I pick the wrong place? I don't know. I'll just build an outpost and we'll see what happens. Yeah, alright. Outpost on the way. Meanwhile, this army is just going to keep uh, wandering about. I'd love... Wait. Oh, we got another territory over here. Got it, got it, got it. So this is probably a city-state of some kind. Whereas you keep following the river. Well, okay. You didn't go very fast. That's fine. Rainbow Clover. Magic material. Wait, so if this... Where was that rainbow thing? Is that pig standing on it? So, if this gives me 100% relations with free cities and rulers, and they have a claim on this, couldn't I just claim it and then use the stuff there to... You know, pacify the people who don't like me very much. Does that make any sense what I'm saying? These guys have claimed that territory. The territory is stuff that makes me uh, makes them like me more. So I'll just ignore their claim, grab the territory, and then give them their own stuff. Huh, okay. But that outpost is done. That's good. Found a city. To do that, I will need 200... Oh, I can do that a turn from now. Okay. Well, let's build up some walls here. I feel like there's no downside to doing that. And Kane, let's also get you to heal up. I don't want to enter that crawler's nest while you still got guys who are low on health, so. Meanwhile, let's keep scouting it out. Uh, in, I don't know, this direction. Okay, what does the Hand of Nod need? Town Hall 2. Plus one province annex range. Well, I should be doing the level one stuff before I do anything else, right? Do the hall, we'll do the market, and a library. And a grand mill. Meanwhile, we'll also get some more melee stuff, because that's what I'm short on at the moment. Yep. 
You are going to keep following the river. You are going to keep following the coast. Oh, here we go. Meeting Curious Pebbleton. What the hell does that mean? Guildmistress Helge Metalier of the free city of Pebbleton greets you with some curiosity. Legendary Kane! It is rare for Pebbleton to meet an ascended champion like you. Nevertheless, we ask that you respect the territory and independence of Pebbleton. Okay. Give the mortal... Da, 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 da. Yeah! I'll give you a Whispering Stone. Cool. You guys keep going north. Or, you know, as far as you can. Outpost founded, that's good. And, yeah, it's all coming together. Kazi guy saying, back from grabbing some food, anything big happened since the first battle? Eh, not particularly. Got an outpost, annexed some new territories, living large. There's a Pyreborn hunt. Oh, it's Pebbleton's guild mistress. Okay. Pebbleton cordially invites you to join the ceremonial hunt of the Pyreborn Gore Tusk Piglet. Once every decade, our finest hunters ride out in search of the Pyreborn Gore Tusk Piglet. Once a decade? You can't do it more frequently than that? That's like a long way to wait. Okay. We cull every creature we find and collect the meat for the glory of Pebbleton until we finally catch that flame infused Gore Tusk Piglet. You would grant us a tremendous honor by joining us. Will we send a hunting party to Pebbleton? I, I guess we will. I am honored to join you. Uh, reward relations, reward mystery bonus. I will have no part in your cruel rituals. Yeah, fuck it, let's just do it. I don't know if that... Oh shit, that's a quest, okay. They are right there. Do I have anything nearby? I'll just send out a legion of fanatics to go kill a bunch of pigs. Yeah, that seems like a good call. Six turns, though, to get there. Well, I guess I got 25 to do it, so that's not so bad. Where's Kane at? Should we recall him to look at the pigs? Uh, no. Instead, we're just going to clear out impossible battle. What's so impossible about this? A level three nymph? Is that a lot? 88 health. Oh, because I'm not attacking with Kane. I'm fighting with the scout. Got it, got it, got it. I figure these things out. Kane is over here. And we got a bunch of entwined thralls. These seem kind of scary. Low risk battle. Okay, not that uh, scary. What do we got in the ocean here? Wasn't there a way to change this into a city of some kind? Or is it still working on something? What, what is happening here? I guess I'll figure that out later. Okay. Well, let's keep clearing out all these weirdos. All right, this is my first uh, real battle, I think. So, uh, God be with me. These guys like all melee. Melee and poison. Oh, okay, yep. Well, I feel like I gotta keep my guys grouped together. Lure them into a kill zone of some kind. Anvil Guard will get you. Oh, shit. Lucky Sunflowers? What the hell does that get me?
Yeah, all right. I think that's good enough for now. Okay, here we go. I definitely want to garrison these lucky sunflowers. Not that lucky. I, mean, I guess they were in the sunflowers, but still. I guess I'll just have to wait for them to come into range here. I feel like I'm better off focus firing one unit, but uh, I guess I'll split my damage just a bit. Bolstering chant and condemnation. Oh, I'm going to condemn somebody. Who do I hate the most? They're all pretty much the same. Uh, I don't like these guys because there's like a butterfly near them. That's probably an indicator of, of evil magic. Butterflies are drawn towards evil, I, I I think. So you are condemned, sirs and madam. Yeah, eat shit. What does condemned do? Minus three status resistance. Okay. Oh, and I can tell what Lucky does. Units on this position gain plus 10% critical hit chance. Oh, awesome. So maybe it would have been better to move these guys up a bit and use the critical hit bonus on the archers and stuff. Ah, whatever. I think either or should be good. Although not if they're just going to stand back and shoot needles at me. Oof, okay, yep. I think it's go time. Uh -huh. Or should I say hammer time? And now it's club spiked, or spiked club <laughs> time. All right, you boys, occupy them sunflowers. Shoot some fire. There it is. You take those sunflowers. Yeah, there we go. Kane, do your thing. And the pioneers will get you back behind the line. Missed? Ah, oh, come on. Oh shit, I can condemn someone else? Awesome. Hey, and... Okay, thanks for following. Sorry I can't pronounce anyone's names on Twitch, it's just the nature of the beast, I'm afraid. Duke, 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 Thanks for following, Duke. Ducky, I would have figured that out eventually. Thanks for following, Ducky. I would not have figured that out eventually. That was That's beyond me. Alright, another guy got condemned, or maybe that's the same person. No, that was a different person. Two people have been condemned by me. Whoa, what the hell is this? Okay, if I had known the AI I was going to cheat like this, I don't know what I would have done. They can't flank me. I flank them. Huh? Well, time to burn in fire, bitch. Hell yeah, there it is. Zealots, get in there. Hell yeah. All right, I should really get into the habit of shooting first and then meleeing them, right? That seems like a better option. 
You've just been overdrawn, baby. All right, let's go. Yes. And pioneers will just uh, back up slightly. Okay, it's all coming together. Crap, those archers are gonna buy it. Ah, shit. Okay, that's on me. Yeah, we'll just keep shooting, baby. Just Kane. No, Kane always gets the final. Final strike, that's how it works. Peace through power. Okay, look at that, only lost one unit. And Kazi guy saying, in my opinion, you should make a unit to replace those pioneers in your fighting stack. They're scouts and should be out scouting. That is a solid point, although it is kind of nice having a, a swift crossbow unit like that just to get on the flanks, but maybe there'll be a better one further on. But uh, yeah, no, I think that's a, probably a good idea, especially since I'm trying to scout out so much of the land right now. Can I just like... Oh yeah, look at that! Okay. I accept your suggestion with grace and humility. In fact, uh, let's get Kane back to the outpost. We'll get him some new units. We got two Anvil Guard on the way. Ooh, what do Sappers do? Throwing charges. Yes, I would like to demolish them. Man, there's too much nature in this world. <laughs> Everywhere there's dragons or weird sea creatures. And they're all working together to thwart my plans. It's just like real life. All right, fuck you, Pebbleton. I'm stealing your mystic whatever. Are we still cool? They are indifferent. I'll take it. Okay, you are still following the river. Discover another ruler while concealed. Diplomatic interactions have not been triggered and the other ruler is unaware of our presence. We can choose to engage with and meet the ruler or to remain concealed. Oh right, because my scouts are always concealed because of that uh, race trait I picked, I think. Let's uh, remain concealed for now. I don't want to tip our hand. Army of Cruel. All right, so we got Skaven on the borders. They must be annihilated. Okay. Hey, and Kane leveled up. Uh, what do we want to give him? Channel power. Let's give him some battle magic. How about uh, lightning of evocation? Oh shit, I can upgrade. Damn, another raid! Windslayer raiding with a party of five. Thank you very much for the raid. Again, for you raiders who have just joined us, we're in the middle of Age of Wonders 4. This is my first campaign. I'm blundering my way through it, and I think I'm doing all right. And Kazi guy saying, if you give Cain condemn, he can do it as a free action. Really, is that how that works? Condemn, condemn. Target unit becomes condemned until the end of the battle. Oh yeah, that's way more nod. Thank you for that tip. That is a good one. Also, I can upgrade a crossbow? Mana Siphoner. No. That's... Lame? Yeah. Kane has a crossbow. That's just the way it is. That's kind of neat.
Got it, got it, got it. Condemnation. Now we're gonna research some crows. As you do. And we're gonna get a fanatical workforce on the Hannah Nod. Cool. And we'll save these for later. Excellent. Excellent. Shit, I gotta fight those pigs. I keep forgetting about that. All right. I do love the idea that the Brotherhood of Nod is summoning an army of zealots just to go fight some pigs. It's like a weird crusade. So this does look like just a giant ass lake. Or maybe it continues off into the distance, I can't tell. It could be an ocean. I, I hope we start on an ocean, that's always fun. Okay. Some gold for our trouble. All right, Kane, you're gonna camp out there for a bit. Okay, what is this outpost doing? I swear I saw the, the button to turn this into a city and I needed like 200 Imperium to do it, I think. And now I don't see that thing anymore. I can abort or I can destroy. What's the difference? Abort, execution of the province operation. What's the province operation? What is this doing? Okay, be upgraded into a city. Not sure how I upgrade that. Uh, I guess I'll just worry about that later. Okay, let's get you... Oh wait, I got seafaring now. I can just go into the ocean. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll remain... Oh, oh shit, it's the, it's the, it's the pirates. It's the Lizardman pirates. What were they called? They had, they had some cool name, like the Crocodile Corsairs, I think. Yeah. That's still pretty neat. And Kezi guy with some more info. Uh, by the way, a lot of new players don't realize this. Enchantments like Legion of Zeal need to be manually cast, and once you do it, it affects all of the units that qualify and increases their upkeep a little. Okay. And the province operation is doing something like founding a city or building walls slash watchtower. Okay, so I was definitely building walls in the outpost, right? I wish I had an indication of how long that was gonna take, unless I'm missing that somewhere. All right, well, I guess the walls would just finish at some point. Everyone else, take five. With the benefit of hindsight, building walls there maybe wasn't necessary. Oh God, allow me to introduce myself. I am World Shaper Taffin somebody of the World Scorcher Cultus. Let us hope this realm is big enough for all of us. I mean, it's the biggest realm possible, so it should be, right? How do we, how do we greet him? Do you think he respects like being threatened? Probably not. Let's send them a gift. <laughs> I accept this gesture of goodwill, Kane. Thank you. I'm gonna pronounce you nothing. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not giving you shit, you dragon bastard. Where the hell is that guy? I guess I just ran into him somewhere on the road. Wait, is that him? Yeah, that's, he's on the water. Okay. 
And speaking of the water... Look at that, I got a boat! It can't move very fast, but it can get under the water just fine. Meanwhile, we're going to assemble the army of Cain at the mana node. And then we're going to go kill some pigs. A new location has been revealed in the mist. The Eternal Bedchambers. Hell yeah! I want to open an Airbnb in the Eternal Bedchambers. Well, how do I not investigate that? Like, I, I have to do it, right? The Eternal Bed Chambers. Aw, oh, man, it's sinister? That's not what I want on my Airbnb. A sinister necropolis crafted by the ancient Shad Ray. Its tunnels and burial chambers seem to expand, almost as if they are alive and seek to accommodate any new inhabitants throughout the ages. This tomb doesn't merely hunger for the bodies of the dead, it yearns to feast upon their very souls. <laughs> oh, man. This Airbnb features a gas barbecue, air conditioning, Hot tub and a sinister necropolis crafted by the ancient Sharae. Check in is at 3 p.m. Uh, and if you uh, leave with your soul, well, that's just another bonus. All right, Eternal Bed Chambers Airbnb will be opened at some point. Man, we are exploring the hell out of this countryside. And I have been doing a very poor job of, like, picking up all the items that are scattered across the map, so I need to look into that. How's Kane doing? Is he healing? Oh, wait, wait! The walls are done! Or do I get stone walls? No. We're getting another city. And it'll take three turns to build, I guess. Cool. Summon zealots. I need more zealots. We 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 <laughs> we got to recruit more zealots for the Great Pig Crusade. Meanwhile, everything over here looks fine. Spells ready to launch. Shouldn't it be spells ready to cast? There's that dragon guy again. Just. Sending his minions to go down the shore and then immediately leave. What's his game? Alright, let's combine these armies, shall we? Alright, the pig hunters are ready to roll. Wait, where'd the pigs go? Can the pigs move? No, they're right over there? I think? Okay, we'll get them pigs. Not to worry. The Great Gore Tusk Piglet Hunt of 2023 is happening. Alright, how are the scouts doing? You know what? I'm tired of micromanaging you guys. You are now set to auto-explore. Use your newfound freedom wisely. There it is. Kazi guy saying he looted a pickup you ignored near a capital city. God damn that dragon bastard. He's always two steps ahead. I'm kind of... I really like the art style in this game. It's very adventurous. Alright, let's start picking up that stuff I always forget. A food stash. Let's go. Enchanted Crow Companions. Hell yeah. Ooh, we got another Tome of Magic. Okay, what's another good Nod Tome? Pyromancy. That seems vaguely Nod adjacent. The Power of Fire. Tome of Beasts. Faith. Ah, yeah, it's got to be Faith, isn't it? It has to be Faith. Yep. Faith it is. We gotta spend some... Oh, we gotta send some chaplains out. Yeah. When faith 
fuels the embers of one's spirit. It is like a soothing balm upon soul and sinew. I'm always saying that. I'm always saying that faith is like a soothing balm on one's soul. It spreads like the light of a... Alright, I'm gonna get chaplains. I don't know, I, I think they heal actually, isn't that what it said? All right, the zealots have assembled. We're ready to go kill some pigs. Let's do it to it. Uh, I can't till next turn. All right, next turn, we're going to kill them pigs. Two turns away, we're going to kill them pigs. Oh, I can excavate earthen terrain in the underground. Well, I don't have anything in the underground yet, so that doesn't seem necessary. City structures cost 20% less gold to build. That seems like a good deal. Um, Shadow affinity. I don't even know what that is. That is uh, getting me knowledge, right? Yeah, I, I could use more knowledge. Except I don't know the option. All right, we're just doing that one then. I like the summon zealot spell. <laughs> That's my favorite thing so far. I am but a simple man, summoning zealots to hunt pigs. All in the name of Cain. Cain lives in death. Peace through power. Oh, shit. What was that other quote they had in Tiberium Sun? You know in the news broadcast at the start? It was like the first or second mission. There was those two uh, broadcast people, newsmen, I guess. And they, they would say something to each other. They'd be like... It was like one one hand, one purpose, one mind, one purpose. Or, or, or did they just say peace through power? We need to get our slogans figured out if we're going to rule this empire effectively. Alright, one turn away from hunting. Risky battle? Hunting the pigs is risky? In what world? Okay, the pioneer, you're out of here. You're going to go scouting, as Kazzy Guy suggested. Instead, another zealot, or we'll have an anvil guard ready in a turn. Okay, the pig hunt has been delayed yet again. You hate to see it, but them's the breaks. Lucid Forest? Powerful astral currents converge to this location. Rather than forming an ordinary mana node, these energies have crystallized into a forest of shimmering trees. Intricate branches and deep meandering root systems suggest an interconnectedness in much of the universe. Souls, worlds, even ages. Time and space have no meaning here. Ugh. Okay, Lucid Forest. Well, I'm not going in there. I'm just going to check out this gold, or this food. I prefer my forest's non-lucid, whatever that is. Unconscious or something? Okay, the Hand of Nod continues to prosper. Oh, we got a dragon outpost over here. Those dragons are closer than I thought. Okay, that's no good. One turn away from getting another city over there. Kane himself isn't doing much, is he? Uh, maybe when that's a city, I'll recruit some more units over there. All right, I kind of wish I knew how this worked. So, presumably, different actions get me different uh, amounts of, I don't know, points into each of these trees, and then I spend those points to get stuff. Is that how that works? can't really tell what's available for me and what's not. All right, well, I'll worry about that later. Or maybe I just don't have enough Imperium. Okay, everything's looking good. Pretty nice kingdom we got here. Some mana, some mines, some quarry, some farms. Icarus VR saying different choices and different tomes unlock different affinities, and the higher your affinity is, the quicker you unlock upgrades to purchase with Imperium from each of those trees. Got it. So, is it kind of like I'm constantly earning like a few points in each of the trees, and then depending on actions, I get bonus points, or is it like there's no progress in any of them until I do those certain uh, choices or tomes or whatever? Okay, also, mementos of your former life. When looking through your army supplies, one of your Brotherhood of Nod. One of your Brotherhood of Nod finds a container with items you thought long lost. 
The box contains belongings that survived your travels and adventures. A mammoth tank. An obelisk. A tesla coil. Every item contains memories of your former life and memory of your childhood. Of the first time you used a spell. Of the time you became a leader. When reliving past moments from your life, you find one or more items that reminds you of where you came from. What is it? A weapon taken from a fierce enemy. A ring representing your body of someone special. An artifact of your faith. Lingering in the past will only hold you back. Smoldering axe. That's kind of cool. Or a ring of escape. I kind of, like, Ring of Escape seems very Kane to me. Like, literally, he lives in death. So I kind of have to do that. Or the Ring of Endurance. Gain, yeah, it's boring. Yeah, I got to do the, the Kane lives in death ring. Okay, but about those, um... Oops, what am I doing? Where's that screen I'm looking for? Here we go. Okay. Uh, it only progresses as long as we have the affinity points as Icarus VR, otherwise it's static. Got it. All right, thank you very much. Oh, shit. Did I just figure this out? So is this showing on my progress? So I'm getting like plus three here, plus eight here, plus four there, plus one there, and zero in either of these because I don't have chaos or nature. Okay, that makes sense. Thank you very much. I was wondering what the numbers meant. I just thought they were for decoration. All right, we need to reinforce the army of Cain over here. You need to just go scout out some stuff. You need to hold the fort. Okay, Stone Forge needs to be renamed. What kind of name is that? Uh, so this is called the Hand of Nod. All right, here's a question for you. What were the Nod buildings called in CNC? I gotta look this up on the other screen, if you'll forgive me. Nod buildings, CNC. Nod structures. Construction yard? I can't call a city the construction yard. Power plant, Tiberium refinery. Okay, these are not as... Oh, the obelisk of light? Uh, I gotta save that for like some weird um, mana thing we find. All right, this is not helping me. Hand of Nod, Temple of Nod. Aha. Uh -huh. I have no idea what to call this thing. I, I can assign governors? Should I have been doing that all along? Does the Hand of Nod have a governor? Yes, it does, it has Kane, okay. Well, let's call this, uh, Stone, let's call it the Forge of Nod. And we'll just make this into like a big production city, like a big workshop kind of place or something, I don't know. But uh, my strategy is to always start with food production though, right? Because that's gonna help growth over the long term. So unless that's a terrible idea, that's what I'm gonna do. Grand mill and then a workshop. And it's also gonna produce some sappers. Yeah. The Forge of Nod. I kind of dig that. Now, presumably, at some point, I'm going to get another hero, right? Or, or do they, like, just show up, or can I rec Oh, I can recruit one! Here we go! These are all from Pebbleton. This guy's unaffiliated. Well, we already have a crossbow guy. I feel like we need a weird fire guy. He's an order adept. Yeah, all right. Fuck it. Welcome to the party, pal. I like your fire orb. In fact, should you be leading the great pig hunt? I think you should. Sorry, anvil guard, you're out. Go back to the hand and nod. Uh, Vexen TV saying, make Seth. You're absolutely right. Can I rename this dude? I adjust appearance, is that a thing? Yeah, here we go. Seth. Wait, okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, we gotta do something here. C and C, Seth. Uh, 
Okay, okay, I got it. His first name is Just. His last name is Seth. Yeah, that's... That's funny, right? And he never had a... Like, an official title, did he? He was just, like, the second in command? Um... Uh, okay, I guess Guildmaster's fine. Oh, wait, no, right hand, right hand. Oh, uh, Yogurt. Uh, or no, sorry, Seth just said right hand. Got it. I might adjust his appearance to make him look more like Seth later on, but for now, we'll keep him as is. Also, I gotta give that ring to Kane. Did I not do that before? Where's the hero thing? Right there. Kane, inspect. What, uh, there we go, Ring of Escape, got it. Hell yeah. Good work, Kane. Now, it's been a while since I played Command & Conquer, but that is another game I need to stream. I would love to go back and do the campaign and CNC Remastered. But, uh, okay, so Seth was like your main man, and then he was like jealous of you because you were doing better than him, and then he tried to kill you a bunch of times, and then doesn't like, Kane shoot him or something? Like, what happens to Seth? Does anyone know? But anyway, Seth is going to run the forge and nod. So then to go back to this... Chaos, Shadow, Astral, Order. So Order Affinity has got to give me plus one or plus three or whatever that thing was because of Seth, right? I think that's how that worked. Seth was an order guy. Cool. Let's get the uh, fanatical workforce going again. I always like having that around. Neat. Greetings, the Messiah Kane. I like how he calls me that. That was a good title to give myself. A friendship with you was declared. Oh, that fucking dragon guy's my friend? I guess that's what he just said to me. Okay, uh... I mean, I kind of hate him, but... That's never stopped me from being friends with people before. So... I will also <laughs> declare friendship? A modifier that slowly increases towards plus 300 will be added to your relations with the ruler. Any grievances gained against that ruler will be reduced by minus 40%. Okay. Do I want to be friends with this dragon asshole? I guess I do. And you know, if it comes down to it, we can always say, you know, friendship ended with Tef Rendir. What's her face is my friend now? Declare war without justification. <laughs> What justification can there be with uh, for war? Oh, and we're cooperating with Pebbleton now. Its borders are open, to trading is enabled, up to two resource trades are available. I don't know what I have to trade. Let's, uh, what, what do I got? Oh, they got rainbow clovers and arcanium ore. None of them, or neither of those seem too uh, useful at the moment. All right. Seth, what the hell did I just do? Arrival in one turn, three turns, what, what am I seeing there? All right, there we go, that's good enough. What was that about? Oh, okay. Oh, there's a spider nest there, and he went to go get it. Okay, I get ya. Well, we're gonna send that spider to go explore for us. It is the spider of Nod. Can I name units? Ah, oh, come on, let me rename this guy. That's a shame. <laughs> I do like that we got spider agents, though, working for the Brotherhood. 
<laughs> that feels very right to me. Day 18. It's time to kill some pigs, baby. Although, let's make sure we can actually do that. Low risk battle. I like those odds. Here it is, fellas. The great pig hunt. It's finally happening. Okay, so... <laughs> Wait, okay, what was that thing? Does anyone know what I'm talking about on Twitter? Where some guy was saying that he needed to own a machine gun so he could gun down the wild feral hogs that were attacking his children? Am I making that up? If I'm not making that up, then this is the proof that uh, that guy was telling the truth. But... Okay, lucky sunflowers, sunflowers. I gotta figure out what the environmental effects here are, because they seem important. Okay, I'm just seeing a lot of lucky sunflowers. All right. It's so wonderful having an army of zealots. Like, I love this. Sure, it was nice having archers, but, uh... Hey. Oh no, it wasn't my archers who died, it was my fire mages who died. Okay, I'm more upset about that now, that sucks. Oh wait, no, this is a completely different army. Okay, I'm, uh... <laughs> this is my first time fighting with this army. I thought it was still with Kane, But nope, this is a different army, so it makes sense they don't have those fire guys. They're still with Kane. Got it. Alright, here we go. So what does Seth do? Fire bolts. Out of range and quick stab. Alright, well, let's see what this does. <clears throat> All I can say is, as a way of an excuse, is that I'm in the middle of fixing my sleep schedule, so, uh... It actually makes a lot of sense that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Alright, form the line, boyos. Form the line. Ah, oh, slightly out of range. Hell yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, pork barbecue, let's go. Holy shit, everybody get down, it's a raid! Stellar Meech raiding with a party of 143. Alright, let's bring up the defenses for this one. If you got the, uh, the template emotes, please bring up them police to stop them raiders. If you are just joining us, I am Mark from the Templin Institute, right in the middle of Age of Wonders 4. This is a 4X grand strategy game from the folks over at Paradox. This is my first time playing this game, so I'm not particularly great at it. Actually, no, fuck it, I'll say it. I'm great at this game, uh, even though I don't quite understand what I'm doing. You have just joined us in the middle of a high-stakes battle. We have been tasked by a city close to us to hunt down a bunch of wild feral hogs that have been attacking the countryside. So we have raised an army of fanatical zealots to go, uh, kill a bunch of pigs. Uh, I, I don't think I can make it make any more sense than that. So, you might just have to be in for the long haul here. Alright. All you gotta know is we're fighting pigs. With, with magic. Oh, and I'm also gonna condemn the pigs for being, uh, I don't know. What do you condemn pigs for? Smelling bad? I guess? I don't know. Aren't pigs actually naturally clean? I couldn't tell you. Alright, but we're also gonna- we're gonna hammer them pigs to hell and back, baby. Oh god! I keep forgetting these aren't regular pigs. These are like fire Gortesk pigs. Alright, well, uh... This is fine. That's what the clubs are for, right? Ah, oh, shit! Nah, we're, we're good, we're good. This, this is fine. And, uh, Olivery, I want to say, in chat saying, Oh, hi, Mark. Never heard that one before, but it's a mark with a C, so you only get half points.
Also, uh, oh yeah, Stellar Mish, how'd the uh, Age of Empires go? Did you uh, win? Did you make it to the Castle Age? It's been a while since I've played Age of Empires. I don't know the appropriate questions to ask anymore. Man, these pigs, they are not fucking around, are they? And Soviet uh, Miska K. How come I can't pronounce anyone's names? Soviet Miska something saying Battle of the Bacon. Yes, that is an appropriate name for this epic conflict in which we find ourselves. Yeah, eat shit, you pig bastards. Okay, but they did flank us. That's a that's a that's a bit of a problem. So, all right, Seth, get the hell out of there. God, and they attack in unison too. That's what's even more freaky. All right, we gotta hold the flank. Hold the flank, boyos. Yeah. No! Yeah! Yeah! Okay, I gotta condemn another pig here. <laughs> you are condemned! By Meteor. That's actually a pretty accurate representation of what happens when you roast somebody on Twitter. An ethereal meter Meteor falls out of the sky and just blasts him. Ah, uh, shit. Okay, we lost some zealots, but hey, that's what we're there for, right? Okay, so let's do some flanking stuff. Uh, yeah, right around there. Roast them pigs. There we go. Except you're missing everything. You know, for a bunch of zealots, they don't seem very uh, charismatic. You, you click on them and they're just like, uh-huh. I don't know about you, but every zealot I've met has been a bit more enthusiastic about their craft than these gentlemen. There it is. My morale is high. The state of the Union is strong. Oh. Alright, Seth, finish him off. Don't fuck it up. Yeah, there you go. The pigs have been roasted. A victory. And we only lost one unit of zealots. Okay, great. The Pyreborn Hunt, Aftermath. After slaying the Pyreborn, Gore Tusk Piglet, you hear the distant horns of Pebbleton. The hunt is over. It is not long before a guild mistress, Helgai Metalier, approaches you. She bows deeply. The Pyreborn, Gore Tusk Piglet is slain. May the great hunter Cain usher in glory to our great Pebbleton. The minstrels in... Oh, wait. The minstrels in Helgi Metalier's entourage sing a short ballad of triumph. Uh... I'm not going to sing a ballad of triumph. The hunters gather every animal killed in the hunt, forming a respectable mountain of game. You outmatch us, Helge Metalier declares, as the slayer of our venerable quarry, you're the first to claim your prize. And Noop9772, thanks for following. Very much appreciated. Welcome to the Templin Institute. All right, so relations with Hebelton are through the roof. We killed the pigs. They're thrilled. Uh, so I claim all the meat, or you keep the meat and I get the pelts. Allow me to enlist one of your formidable shield breaker hunters. Mounting the head of the Gortes piglet shall symbolize my empire's supremacy. All right, so I love the idea of getting a bunch of pork. Bacon, pepperoni, all these things. These are, these are good meats. Now, pelts, that's interesting. Are pigs known for their, for their pelts? Uh, I, I wouldn't think so. But I kind of just want to mount its head because Imperium is the one thing that I'm not making a, well, I guess I am making a bit. Am I making a bit? Well, shit. 
Uh, Icarus VR saying boar pelts are a thing. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Fuck it, I'm mounting the head of the, the thing on my wall. That seems like a cool move to do. Okay. And Kazzy Guy saying Imperium is rare. I always pick it when available. Yeah, that's my thinking too, because everything else, you know, money and food, I have other ways of making it, but Imperium, like, where is it actually coming from? Only from cities? So, yeah, all right. I think I made a good choice. Uh, as for this random guy, let's get him back to the city. And the spider is just continuing to roam the countryside, making friends, spinning yarns, spinning webs, spinning tall tales, spinning all sorts of things. Okay, meanwhile, can we finally grab this stuff? Oh, okay, some money. Whatever, just go explore out there. Okay, the Hand of Nod continues to produce everything we need. Great. And the Forge of Nod is doing its thing as well. Okay. And Fanatical Workforce is ready. Uh. All right, you're Fanatical again. And Kazzy guy's saying that I haven't actually cast Legion of Zeal yet. Yeah, I was gonna save it. Like, is there any reason to use it right away? I was just gonna like hang on to it until I need it. But I'm also gonna get Fanatical Workforce uh, on the uh, in the works again. Okay, new Empire Development skill: Diplomatic Channels, way or plus one Whispering Stone. Okay, I think that's helpful because Whispering Stones, as I recall, help you make friends with other people. And Dragon Guy and I are already friends, but can I, like, give him a stone or something? Or is that only for city-states? I guess that's only for city-states. Or maybe I already gave him a stone, I don't know. Alright, you dragon bastard, I'll leave you alone for now. Yeah, alright. That was a successful turn. Oh, Kazzy guy saying whispering stones are only for city states. Got it. All right, good to know. And Yoshan9, thanks for following. Welcome to the Temple Institute. Very much appreciated. Enjoy them follower emotes we got going. I think there's some good ones in there, aren't there? Day 19. This kingdom is only 19 days old, and it's already doing pretty great, I think. Okay, that army of kings is going to camp out there for now. I want to make it another six stack. Meanwhile, this army of Cain needs to heal up, because the pigs did a real number on us. Oh, we got chaplains now! Hell yeah! Okay, so... What do we need now? Combat spell with spirit damage. Inspiring chant. Eh. Faithful whispers. Oh, faithful whispers. Allegiance with target free city increases 30% faster. I am going to do that because we need Pebbleton to uh, join the Brotherhood of Nod. That's what I think, anyways. Yeah, alright. This all makes sense to me. Meeting friendly Bronze Gate. Oh, it's those mole people. God damn it, I hate them so much. Uh, Guild Mistress, Drona Spark of the Free. Oh, no, these are not the mole people. This is an unaffiliated mole people city. Okay, got it. Guild Mistress, Drona of the Free City, Bronze Gate, is enthused about meeting you for the first time. Well met, the Messiah Kane. We heard great things about you. We resourceful moles hope our humble free city can learn from you. I like this guy's attitude, or her attitude. So, yeah. Bronze Gate. That's cool. I like the map uh, icons I got going on here. This is really nice looking. And Kazzy Guy saying that units heal faster in my own territory. That makes perfect sense. We'll bring him back to the fold. Speaking of which, when can the Hand of Nod annex another territory? Ah, uh, in one turn. Okay, great. Oh, we got some action over here. Road building. 
Yeah, that seems like a very good idea. Right to the last stand. Whispering stones. Now let's do roads, baby. Where we're going, we're gonna need lots of roads. Discovered another ruler while concealed. Who did we meet? Oh shit, is this the GDI? I will meet them. Hail the Messiah Kane. It seems we share kinship. My name is Gabriella Bordeaux. Too many Godir wage war on the realms. I find it more rewarding to make peace. Don't you agree? Give threatening welcome, you GDI bastards. I am disappointed by your hostility, Kane. Perhaps my positive assumptions about you were misplaced. For those of you who don't know why we hate these people, uh, this is another custom faction we made uh, before the game started, and we have designated them our eternal enemies, so... That's what's going on here. Okay. Yeah. Where are the GDI? They are up north somewhere. Yeah, over there. They're near Bronze Gate, I think. Interesting. And what's this place? Is this, uh... Oh, yeah, that's the rat people. Got it. Gabriella Bordeaux. <laughs> All right, day 20, what do we got? The Forge of Nod produced a sapper. I'm excited about that. We need some more melee units in this army though. Oh, a chaplain. I mean, that's not melee, but I do really want to chap him. Seven turns to build, though? I don't know about that. For now, let's stick with our old anvil guard. But we got a chaplain waiting in the wings. Meanwhile, in the hand of Nod, you will also build a chaplain. Only takes you five turns. Okay, that's good. Probably because I have way more production here, right? That's how that's working? Yes. Okay, the Forge of Nod needs more production. That's what I'm picking up. Okay, and now that we can make boats and whatnot, I kind of want to annex uh, some of the water. Got a fishery going here, you know? Yeah. Except it is infested with more pigs, a crow, and some entwined thralls. For a total combat power of 255, and these guys have, what, 85. Okay, so they're not doing so hot. Well, we'll clear out them fish village uh, soon enough, don't you worry. And Von Geton, thanks for following. Welcome to the Institute. Enjoy them follower emotes. All right, fanatical workforce, let's go. Oh, well, that speed up the, uh, no, it did not. Spells ready to launch. Uh, okay, I am excited that our, our uh, city is on an ocean, not a lake. On a pretty big ocean, too. It looks like it's... Oh, is there a passage there? Ooh, that is a... A world tree? Where the hell is this thing? Scriptures describe how the first elves visited all worlds to see them with life. This magnificent tree stands as a testament to that age. It is said the souls of these first ones still reside within it, sometimes manifesting themselves as the entwined, eternally bound to protect its growth. Okay, so there's some real lore going on here. So it's not just that there's a bunch of weirdos hanging out. It's that the entwined are the descendants of the first elves or their spirits or something, and they've convinced some crows and pigs to to work with them. Or or maybe they just herded them. I don't know. I don't know what elves think. Ooh, a shipyard. Absolutely, I want a shipyard. And then a blacksmith. Okay, question. 
Why is it that some of these are boosted? Is it because I have improvements on the surrounding territories that do that? Like, is the blacksmith boosted by the quarry or something, and the shrine boosted by the mana conduit, and the town hall boosted by, I don't know, the city? Is that how that works? In any case, shipyard and then town hall. Whereas that's gonna keep doing what it's doing. Okay. Oyster Reef, that's kind of interesting. I always like starting with farms. I think I've made that very clear. But I don't have any good farming options. Yeah. Um. Let's get this Oyster Reef and then clear it out using the Army of Nod. How about that? So what do we got here? We got 280 versus our 410. Yeah, I like those odds. And let's rush production. Can I do that or how do I do that? I have no idea how to do that. Track population, that's not what I want to do. Uh. All right, I'll worry about that later. Okay, my old dragon friend Tefrendir wants a wizard's bond. What the hell does that do? Improve empire relations and access new treaties. The throne city of each ruler will be revealed. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll do a wizard bond with you, you weird bastard. So where is your home? Oh shit, you're right across the, the water from me. Slug slot. Look, I don't want to be that guy, but I think Slug Slot looks like shit. Kazi guy saying that's not his capital. I was gonna say, he only has like two things there, so where is his capital? Are you sure that's not his capital? I thought it revealed his capital when I became friends with him. Or do I need to wait a turn for that to show up? Heartfang. Okay, where the hell's Heartfang? Could Heartfang be underground? Holy shit, it is. Oh my god. Game changer. Okay, well that's, uh... Wait, so where... Oh, so it's directly beneath. Slug slot. Through that underground passage. Oh my god. Okay, I'm figuring this out. And Pebbleton is now loyal. Okay. Excellent. Yeah, I need to annex Pebbleton and then rename it to the Pebbles of Nod or some shit. Gabriella Bordeaux. That's probably not how you pronounce her name. Brod Brodo, what's, what's her name? Gabriella Bordreau, Bord Bordreau, maybe? Okay, we finally met those uh, Skaven we met earlier, or, you know, hit our, okay, whatever, it's fine. Uh, Yeah, I'm not welcoming them. I don't like them very much. Oh, okay, what the hell is this? Infernal Invaders. After bolstering your empire through order and discipline, you receive reports that demons are assembling near Hand of Nod. Is that true? The fiendish infesta infestation demons who either killed or escaped their masters are led by a gruesome cha chaos eater. Oh my god, like diabolical moths, the infernal deviants are drawn to the gleaming light that hallows your empire, preying on the meek and weak-willed among your followers. Several pious citizens have reportedly been tempted, seduced, tricked, compromised, or simply slain by these godless guests. Good lord. Uh, yeah, these profane invaders will be cleansed by my holy fire. That seems like a 
good thing to do. Although, how come I can't decline it? Oh, I gain a Chaos Eater. That's kind of neat. Nope, but we're burning them. Okay, they are right there with a combat power of 440. Okay, I'm gonna have to wait till my chaplain is uh, ready to roll because that seems like a tough, uh, tough thing. All right, Army of Cain, go into the harbor. Kill all you find. Faithful Whispers, hell yeah. Okay, Steel Fury Chant. All friendly units lose stacks of bolstered, blah, 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 blah. Strengthened and fortuned. Covenant. Okay. Ruin of Industry. Let's do Covenant. And Faithful Whispers, we're about to cast that on that, uh, on Pebbleton. Yeah, all right, and the rest seems, wait, is uh, the Hand of Nod still under the effects of the fanatical workforce? I don't know how I will tell. I mean, I could just try it, I guess, right? There it is, and when it's under fanatical workforce, it shows right there, okay, got it. Ah, and there's our dragon, buddy. Tef, he built an outpost on my coast. I don't know if I can approve of this. Whoa, what, what, what the hell is going on here? Someone consider your course of actions deeply unwise, Kane. Tefren Nendir has a personal dislike for your actions of empires without relationship with free cities. I do have a relationship, don't I? And neither do you, you asshole. Pebbleton. Wait, does he like my relationship or does he not like my relationship? I can't tell what that dialogue was saying. Uh, where does it say why he does or doesn't like me? Threat level trusting, okay. Uh, declaration of friendship. Da, 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 da. Oh, here we go. Relationship with vassal cities, allegiance of vassal cities. Got it, okay. Well, give it time, Mr. Dragon. We'll, uh, we'll sort that out. Yeah, but this dragon guy, he might need to be dealt with. I don't know if I trust him. Just, oh, I discovered the uh, the fish people, but I'll remain concealed. I, I like doing that, that's kind of fun. It's a neat option. All right, Tiffin, dear, what the hell are you doing now? Is it possible he might try to attack my, uh, my vassal city here? Or my loyal? It'll be a vassal in two turns. Got it. Okay. This guy has a hundred hit points and a melee strike of 10, 35, 26, whereas Seth. Okay, this guy isn't that much stronger than my dudes. That's, uh, makes me feel a bit better. But Kane has some fish to fry. Or it's uh, a wyvern and entwined thralls. I'm gonna auto combat this one, I think. I think we're good. Victory. Oh, I lost the zealots. That's fine. That's kind of their purpose. And we got some oysters for our trouble, so another victory. And let's heal up, shall we? Uh, yeah, just heal up for now. Hand of Nod now has a town center of some kind, and they're producing the chaplain. Excellent. Okay, what do we want? Special improvements. Interesting. Builder's Circle of Zealotry. Huh. Well, how about instead of that, we just do, um... A tavern? 
Yes. A shrine. A mint. A fishmonger. Let's do fishmonger and tavern. All right, Kane, what do we want for you? Now that you've leveled up, we want you to have something cool, no doubt. How do I get archery two? Learn one more warfare. Oh, okay. Uh, how about uh, defense then? Great. And faithful whispers on Pebbleton. Yeah. Discovered it. Oh, we discovered the goblins. Dusk Vault. That's a cool name for a city. Whoa, battle won by. What battle did he win? He didn't fight Hebleton, did he? Uh -huh. No, they seemed like they're doing fine. Maybe he was fighting some random creatures. Okay, well, Seth's army is doing just fine. What do we want him to be doing? Maybe I should be more aggressive in the number of outposts I have. I only have two out of three cities at the moment. Where seems like a good place to expand? So I'll be getting these three once Pebbleton enters the fold. Maybe right over here. Yeah, that's what I want to do. All right, we're going to form a new outpost on the borders of the GDI. Seven turns away, though, so it'll take a hot minute. All right, that chaplain's still seven turns away. This chaplain only one turn away. Cool. Oh, I got rainbow ore, focus crystals, arcanium ore or something. No, I don't have four. Okay, no, I got arcanium ore. I got only arcanium ore. Got it. And what does that get me? Hurry, recruitment for units is 25% cheaper. Got it. And focus crystals I don't have. Okay, I see what's happening. Oh, I has got rainbow clover. Yeah, all right. Love it. Now, how the hell do I hurry production? That's what I want to know. Ah, by doing this. Got it. The army of Cain now has a chaplain. So let's fight some... Weird monsters with it. Or should I go into the crawler's nest? I'm not sure. But you know what? I hate to say it. I think uh, whatever we do with that chaplain will have to wait until next week. Because let's uh, end things here for today, shall we? Bring back the old HUD. Alrighty, so thank you all so much for those of you uh, who tuned in today. But, or not, especially those who came in from the raids. Uh, Stellar Mish and the other folks who uh, raided over the course of the stream. Very much appreciated. Alrighty, but uh, yeah, even though today is done, the streaming don't stop. The streaming never stops. We're back on Monday for probably some more Mechabellum, that uh, Mech Warrior S game that I love. Uh, and then on Wednesday, we have. What was I doing Wednesday? Dune Spice Wars was uh, the game we we're playing uh, Wednesday. Big fan of that one. We're leading House Harkonnen in a conquest campaign. My uh, initial fight didn't go so well. Uh, Atreides kind of kicked my ass, and so did the Fremen. They ganged up on me, it was a whole thing. But that was only the first battle. The war has just begun. So more Dune Spice Wars on Wednesday. Then on Friday, is my mind just gone? I completely forgot what I streamed yesterday. Oh yeah, Friday we streamed a bit of Warno. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that again or we're gonna do something else, but uh, next Friday, who knows what we're doing. And then one week today, we return to the brother hand of Nod, or the brother hand, the brotherhood of Nod with the hand of Nod and the forge of Nod to uh, continue our conquest of this mystical realm of magic and wonder. So that is one week today. Alrighty, but let's uh, see if we can't keep the raids going here before we end things. Who do we know? Nobody. Uh, yeah, all right, well, shit, okay. Well, we'll just end it there then. Thanks, everybody, and uh, yeah, we'll catch you next time. Cheers.